Okay guys, I'm going to show you my setup here. So what I did here was replace the original factory bolt with a longer bolt so it could clear the longer rifle cases. To do that, you have to remove the screw that's in between these tubes and remove the black piece because it covers the factory bolt. There's a spring in here, so make sure not to lose it and potentially a detent ball as well. This is just a regular large case slider. Unfortunately, it's still a little too short, and you will still get some tip cases, especially with 308. You'll still get them with 223 and 556, but not as bad. You just have to run the press nice and smooth to make sure not to shake it around and knock the cases over even more. It would be nice if Lee made a case slider tall enough to handle these rifle cases. I might eventually look into seeing if I can have one made for me but that's a project for another day. So here in station four, I have the Lee Deluxe case trim, the powered one hooked to my DeWalt impact driver. This trims, chamfers, and deburs the brass all in one shot, saving a lot of time. In station one, I have a universal decapping die to deprime the brass. In station two, I have my full length resizing die. Now I do this in a two step process. It requires two different turret head setups. The first one is the sizing and trimming, and the second one is the powder feed and bullet cedar and crimp die. In station number three, I have my Lee auto drum, which works fantastic for extruded powder. Um, and it's sitting on top of the Lee rifle charge die. Next we're going to move over to station 4 where I have my Hornady bullet seating die. I really like these because they have the collar that catches the bullet before it goes up into the die which keeps the bullet nice and straight. Then here in station 3 I have a Lee factory crimp die which I love these, especially in the pistol version, but these are exceptionally good as well. I'm going to make a second video demonstrating how this setup works. Okay, so after that process, I'm going to run to the rotary company and do out those primer problems. And this was I already ran it through once, this is probably overkill. Um, the other thing too is somebody on another...